probably within another week or two, I'll close the back end and use it just for the emergency. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I just I'm going to bring up about the uh, sick male volunteer fire rescue from the okay. OS Ambulance okay. Service. Jim. I have four items I'd like to just touch base on. One is the uh, preliminary numbers for the uh, year 1011. Oh, okay. The year 1011 budget. When will we get those for, for review? And we're going to have to be approving it what, in September. Yeah, I was trying to get close today. I closed out um, July today, so hopefully I'll have something to know by the middle of next week. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to have time to look those over before. Yes, sir. Okay. Second thing, I, you may have there. Uh, I'll copy that proposal from. From. Uh, you want to talk about it? You want me to talk about it? Talk about it. We have found Jeremy um, Rutland has found out that there is a uh, another alternative to what we had uh, considered with upgrading with improving the uh, sprinkler system at the golf course, and that is to purchase a, uh, an upgrade to the existing system as opposed to putting a whole new sprinkler system in for the fairways, which is what we had discussed about before. And, uh, and that proposal is, uh, or this, the, the, the net number is $16,000 for purchase and installation just for what we've identified. Now, if we run across some something unidentified would be more than that. But this is about a third, no more than half of what we had talked about originally. We talked about so little more money than this. That's and, uh, 16, 5, 3, 5, 88, yeah. to be exact. Yeah. And uh, what this is, is a, uh, is a timer, new timers that will go on each one of the uh, holes and uh, and it will be compatible with the hydraulic system that we have now. It's a digital, it's a digital timer, and uh, they can set those individually. And uh, this would upgrade that and us to uh, sprinkle the whole golf course, fairways and all. And uh, the, the one of the hitches in it is the fact that uh, it's from Toro, which is the manufacturer of the, of the system of the system that's out there. Of course, uh, they have a price increase in October, so. I'd like to talk to you all about uh, maybe go ahead and get approval for that over the next, the next, next council, council meeting. meeting. At the next yeah, council meeting, so we could go ahead and purchase this thing, budgeted in next year's budget, and uh, at least bring that to, to completion, which is what we've been talking about for, for quite right. some time. So, if that, is that, has anybody got any opposition to that? Or? How much is their increase going to be? No, 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 he, no. Okay. Yeah, it's probably. You know, I don't know, five, ten percent, whatever it is. But if, if we're going to do it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, go ahead and book it. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, get close on this, Chloe. Uh, the way Jeremy suggested was, you know, the, the labor is separate from actually the uh, parts. You know, it'd be, you know, two different deals, but still, uh, you know, it might be nice if we. It's from that. Yes. It's from Toro. I told Jeremy today it's over the bid limit, and that's you know when he told me so. What's going to actually be two separate things, but actually it's going to be with the same company. So mm -hmm. I told him I didn't think that would work, but I would run that by council. Well, the that, problem yeah. you got is if it's a, a manufacturer specific. I don't know how you did it. We don't set those rules. But so. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, if it's if it's if it was. Uh, well, you can't go to uh, John Deere. Yeah, if it was John Deere, well, you're not going to go to Toro to get a part for John Deere. So, are you saying we're going to have to bid it, or? No, we can bid it. I mean, well, just, okay, but nobody put the bid out there. If nobody bids it, then well, okay, I mean, obviously, you know, no. John Deere will be compatible with this because mm -hmm. I mean, what, I, what this is is uh, there you go. Is, 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 <laughs> You're legal then. <laughs> yeah. It's company specific. It's, it's Toro specific. So only only someone from Toro could make something that's compatible with what's out there. Okay. That's that was a step. Okay. okay. Uh, the third thing is uh, we, we talked to. Uh, 
a gentleman regarding stocking the lake, and the, his proposal was 20,000 brim, two to three inches long, that we put in there now. They would be, they would spawn before winter, and uh, we could fish them next May. Uh, I don't know whether we have to bid that or not. I won't say what the price was he quoted because uh, you might want to go out for another bit of heat. What what the suggest what the proposal was was twenty thousand <clears throat> brim at a specific price. So if you want to bid it, that that's that's what would that's what you could bid. Twenty thousand brim. And I think we ought to go ahead and do that too. Uh, well, we have above the threshold of fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. No. No, 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 way on that. Is that, I mean, are we, are we going to put anything other than brim in there? Here's, here's his proposal, okay? The rest of his proposal was uh, uh, 4,000, 20,000, 20,000 brim now, two to three inches, and then uh, 25,000 shed later on. What Warren and I talked about is holding off on that because we got a lot of fish that's left in was left in the lake out there. Uh, so we was talking about holding off on that. On the shed. They had the shed, maybe talk he was gonna talk to the guy from uh, Auburn about that. And uh, I, I think it would be prudent to do that, hold off on that. Uh, the third thing he talked about was adding bass to it at a later time, next year sometime. But let the put the, those young brim in there now where there's plenty of vegetation on the bottom and they can they can grow and spawn this the full winter, and um, you know we should, we should have a fairly fishable lake out there, you know, by next spring. And then talk about next spring. Maybe get the guy from Auburn over and let him take a look at what we got and uh, suggest make a suggestion. Then get his perspective as far as adding bass. I was concerned at a later time, but this would not be the end of it. <clears throat> Perhaps would not be the end of it. I, I would think we will add some bass to it. We would just have to restrict the, the catching on the bass unless they were a certain size for a couple of years and let, let them get a chance to run on the tour. So y'all y'all support that then fairly quickly to get them to go on it? You won't have to bid that. You just need to maybe get the yeah. We yeah. might want to at least wait a couple more weeks, Jim, because of the lake, you know, uh, as some, you know. Well, like, yeah. He, he, we can go ahead and speak for him, in other words. Yes. But we might want to wait. <clears throat> Just get some comparisons uh, from this. I don't know if this gentleman's private entity or whether he's with a state agency. But uh, we can get a couple of different quotes just to have something to probably want to say. Yeah. If we want to give them a chance to lay, we, we need to get them in there. That's what I say. During the month of September. We need to get them in there fairly quickly, I would think. Right. That's, what he, that's what his suggestion was. Was fairly quickly two weeks soon enough? Well, if we start Monday, it's probably two weeks away if we start in Monday. Okay. That's what my suggestion is. Well, we talk to Jerry Booker one more time first before I have to get pretty close. Okay. All right. the golf course, you, you will prepare a, a request for quotes on that? Is that what you want to do? Yes, sir. Okay. Three quotes. Yes, okay. Sir. Sorry. Okay. Good job.